Stop letting others control your time. Everybody, this is Zachary Beach, smartrealestatecoach.com. Welcome to another Motivational Monday. Now, time. Time is something that is our most valuable asset, but most of us, including myself, don't treat it that way. The truth is that if you do not control your time, if you do not have the right techniques or the right strategies, setting yourself up for the right opportunities on a day-to-day basis, then somebody else will control your time. Unfortunately, I've seen it happen too many times. Each and every one of us has a vision, a vision of where we want to be. Now, it could be a vision for the next five to 10 years. It could be 20 years. It could be 30 years. But we always have an idea. And if we can take that idea and backtrack it down to simple day-to-day tasks, then we're always going to be moving forward. Now, I know I've had some bad days and some days I've just been going through the motions, but I've had some strategies set up within my calendar that allow me to still make small progress when I'm not having those best days. I hope by by the end of this video, you're going to understand that controlling your calendar and controlling your day-to-day life is not something that's out of reach. It's actually just very simple techniques that can get you moving forward. And most importantly, that can protect your time. Because the truth is, you did not start in this real estate business. You're not jumping into this real estate business because you want to just do real estate deals every waking hour of every single day. No, you join real estate because you want the benefits and the lifestyle that it can produce if you work the business. So let's talk about some techniques that way you can make your calendar extremely tight, make yourself extremely efficient. That way you can spend time doing the things that you love to do, like spending time with your family or going on vacations and having leisure time and play time. There's just there's so many other things that life can help, that life can really bring, bring to life. If, but only if, we control our calendars. If you went and looked at your calendar today, what would it look like? Would it be a bunch of tasks that are mishmashed together? Would there be nothing at all in there? I want you to think about some of the most successful people in the world. And I want to ask, do you believe that they're in control of their calendar? Or do you believe that they just wing it? There's a couple of things or ideas or strategies that I highly recommend you do in order to control your calendar. So there's some just real, real simple things, things you can implement today. Number one, time blocking. I know time blocking is passed around a lot, but time blocking only works if you stick to the time block. So I encourage you to block off pieces of your day to very specific projects or activities, especially to those that are money producing activities. If your time blocks do not include the key things it takes in order to move your business forward, like making calls, speaking with prospects, uh, structuring deals, going on appointments, working with buyers, setting buyer appointments on both sides of the business, then you don't have a business. You're not moving it forward. So time blocking is extremely important. And if you like time boxing, which is just simply a change in the way you format or the way you look at that time block, time block itself is I'm going to block up this amount of time for an activity. Time boxing is I'm setting this amount of time because I'm going to accomplish this goal in this time frame. I'm going to make seller calls for an hour, time blocking. 
I'm going to acquire five leads in this hour, time boxing. Another cool technique is task batching. There's so many of us, including myself, that get stuck in email. We check email three times a day, interrupting some major activities that actually move us forward. So I encourage you to task batch. Task batch, shallow work. I know that that gets passed around a lot, but things in which you don't need to think about, like email or um, posting on social media or just the basics basics batch those so when you're in a task you can just move right through to the next and to the next and to the next and just make sure the tasks are very connected and the last thing is theming your days i'm a huge fan of theming your days if you're anything like me that you're running multiple companies if uh, you're anything like a lot of our associates you have a day job and you have this business that you're starting. So by theming your days, it's going to allow you to be in a very specific state of mind for that day. And it allows you to be really efficient. So just for an example, only having appointments on one day. Let's say you work a nine to five and you have in a, and there's one day in which you can do appointments. I would make it say Saturday. That means that you do not book appointments on any other day. Now you may be saying, Zach, you're crazy. I'm just getting started. I need appointments, I need deals. But every single time you leave the office or you leave your house and you leave prospecting, that all stops, especially as a sole owner. So by moving it to one specific day, every time you go on the road, you now have multiple people in which you're gonna communicate with and you're gonna go on appointments with. So if you're even looking next level, and I'm not going to dive into it right now, but I promise there'll be more additional resources for you. That is planning out your entire week with a Sunday strategy session. That way you spend your time on Sunday, plan out your entire week. That means you're in planning mode now, and then you're in execution mode during the week. And then lastly, having morning routines to get your body primed, your mind primed, and that way you're in action mode. There's a lot that you can control that you may not have realized. And your calendar and your activities and your energy are certainly some that you can. Mm -hmm.